Hey, and welcome to another episode. My name is Daystro, the Aussie Geek, and today we will be looking at Moon Studio number three, Iron Arm, otherwise known as KN. I'm going to guess by the pronunciation. And he is our next part in Raiden Radiotron, whichever you want to call it. This guy is a little fiddly in some ways, but hopefully we'll get through it. There's also one thing I want to point out when we get to it. Now, I'm going to save us a bit of time with articulation. It's pretty much the same in everything. The only difference is the arms have a tendency to pull up on here, but that's about it. And his gun. He does come with these guns that can plug into his forearms if you want. And honestly, we'll just get this out of the way. Combined gun. Anyway, so first things first, before we get to the train, here he is with Prime. And as you can see, he's taller than Prime. Considering this guy is basically the pants and upper legs, no surprise. So let's get down to this somewhat annoying, but uh, hopefully doable transformation. So straighten his arms out to begin with. All right, we're going to flip open here. We're going to flip it so his hands are facing backwards and slide in. We can then bring this all up if that's clicked properly and tab all that in. Uh, flip that up and that should sort of spin around a little bit. I might as well get the other hand done. I won't take that long. One. Two, whoops, fingers in the way. Close that up, flip that up, tab that in, and flip that up and clear all this. Now this is where things is gonna get a little complicated. I'm gonna flip these out and they'll fall forward. Just pull them back, pull them back. Just untab his backpack and let it just flop about. These will come out, fold out and come apart Let's sort of straighten them as much as possible but we'll also get this all split you're going to have one hell of a mess by the time you're finished and we'll get them down fold them out hold them apart i think i can't yeah, there we go and what we'll do is try and get it's so we can slide one side down and rotate his head in so it's upside down and then that can slide back up for the time being all right so we're going to untab his crutch and butt plate we're going to rotate these so we're going to try and do these legs make sure i've got these around the right way all right so you're going to rotate the legs out and I've got them around. Like I said, it's, it's a hell of a mess, but it is doable. It's going to split apart here at the legs. There is a sort of a tapping mechanism here, but eh, it doesn't really work. All right, so what we want to do, if I can show this, is keep all this apart. This has got to tap into here. So if I can get it in there without everything being completely in my way. And that will slide down a bit, just keep it straight ish. Slide down and try to get past everything and tab in. And then these are going to tab onto ports in here. They aren't perfect or completely securable. They will more than likely come undone, but I think some of them do work. I'll try to get this one in place as well like i said it is doable it's just yeah it's a little fiddly so try to get those sides tabbed in they don't tab in perfectly honestly i think it needs a few more tabbing spots but uh it is what it is all right so try to do the best to get all this out of the way Put the camera down a little bit so you can actually see. So the toe is going to flip up and go back. We're going to come under here. I'm going to flip this one way or another. There it is, like so. Flip this down. You're going to lift 
up and out because these tab into the sides here like so you want all that to stay where it is you're going to rotate the sides like so you're going to without these arms getting in the way rotate these around do the same on this side then what you're going to do is and i kept popping this off so just rotate it up bring the toe in and rotate keep rotating until you've got it there then that can go back up so we want to tab push these back in so it's now on the other side do the same one here get the wheels out of the way and they should tab in the sides as well get in there and then if things are properly secure which looks a little awkward but that should come up to there and just sort of sit there this will come over and tab back in except it's obviously the other way around we can flip up wow this one's tight flip up the wheels like so and then we can bring these arms around and that's going to sort of slide onto that this is going to come around slide to that one and then they're going to connect whoops at the middle and that's just basically one end of your train so one leg down okay we're getting somewhere so that's both the legs double done all right now what we're going to do is we're going to come here and these are all going to plug in here and here into these so that gets rid of your crutch piece out of the way flip that down same on the other side until they're roughly about the middle now this is the one step i want to show because honestly the instructions don't do an all good job of it what you've got to do is sort of flip this down so this whole piece appears in the front so it comes down now it tells you these sides have to slide down there is not a slider back there it is a ball it's a sort of a curved joint so what you actually want to do is roll forward and then push back because if you try to slide down you're going to pop it so roll down and slide in like so and that way it works so same on the other side try to keep all this out of the way which i'm not doing a very good job of and my crutch plates keep moving so oh well so oh would be helpful if i untabbed it i didn't have to untab the other one the other one seems to have come apart for me so slide that down come on come on there we go and then rotate down and rotate down like so come on there we go all right we're getting there so let's try this side i want to say i'll probably have to do it this way around so we're going to fold this out fold these out you want to unfold these and tab in and then we want to put so the orange is on the outside of both sides and then we can bring this under here it's these hinges here that will be your biggest problem so i'm hoping so it's just a matter of angling it sort of like a lightning bolt so down left down left and that should hopefully it should be tabs there we go there and then these tab underneath if you just get behind here no popping off this time sorry if anyone was hoping for some poppings you get no poppings so slide under tab in and i didn't get that tabbed in properly there we go and then all we got to do apart from playing with this crutch a bit which yep take that for what it's worth we want to rotate this i'm just looking to see which way it's going to go and we need to so it pushes back it's going to tab on this side and sort of 
yeah so it sits in like that you'll have a bit of a gap but that's okay now part of me thinks it should go in but that's not that way it works so give me one second i'll do the other side okay and last but not least the most ink secure part of these you can take these pieces here which are supposed to tab in but they do a very 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 i don't think that's slid far enough down they do a very iffy job there we go of tabbing in and if you try it while like the instruction shows chances are you will just keep untabbing things i don't know why that wasn't the one side stay down but there is kn in his train mode if you're a train enthusiast feel free to tell me whereabouts his train would go because i'm guessing it's some sort of compartmental storage thing let me know in the comments he obviously does come with his connector piece that can go in the front there or in the front there but i'm not doing that and i swear that keeps popping out so there we go so let's bring the wind blade into here there she is he is very very long considering these are basically the legs no surprise so there we go so if you liked this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't like this video give me a thumbs down i promise you it will not hurt my feelings subscribe ring the bell leave me a comment let me know where exactly in a train set mint thing position kn slash iron arms would actually be but thanks for watching and i'll catch you later